The face of global jihadism could change, and the reason is this man, Sayyid Imam Sharif, a former surgeon and one of the founders of the Egyptian Islamic Jihad. Twenty years ago, he wrote basic principles in making preparations for jihad, in which he outlined the doctrine of jihad. The book was soon adopted by all the jihadist organizations in the world as their theological guideline. One of them was Al-Qaeda. They interpreted his writings to legitimize attacks on judges, lawyers and soldiers. Now, in jail since 2001, he has issued a revision of his books. In it, he attacks excesses in jihad and reminds the jihadists that Islam forbids killing people on the grounds of their nationality, skin, sect or religion. He said those who used his rulings, known as fatwas, to kill innocents in Iraq and Afghanistan were wrong. Muntasir Azayat, the Egyptian lawyer of Islamist activists, thinks the new revision will have far-reaching impact. The importance of the revisions lies in their global impact. Some say, why should he issue such a statement when there is no violence in the country? But the man has a global stature. He was the man who made the jihadist movements an international phenomenon. Ayman al-Zawahiri, Osama bin Laden's deputy and long-time associate of Sayyid, has already slammed the revisions and said they are propaganda by the Egyptian state. Sayyid is also known as the first emir of the Islamic Jihad when it was formed in 1989. Ayman al-Zawahiri was his deputy. They disagreed over the use of violence. al Zawahiri was in favor of more acts of violence in Egypt. Their disagreement led to a split in the leadership. Said walked away from the Islamic Jihad and the Zawahiri became the leader. Sayyid kept a low profile, but he remained a driving force of what was to become a global network of underground movements, all inspired by his writings. Egyptian authorities widely publicized the revision. It was hailed by official newspapers as a turning point in the thinking of Egypt's radical movement. While the document was endorsed by some of Said's former colleagues, others rejected the revisions and said were the results of long years of torture and imprisonment. But the new declaration against violence written by Sayyid Sharif is already triggering a debate among those who are looking for justification of their violent acts around the world. Hashim Ahbarra, Al Jazeera.